It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Black Hog's Watch from the Dread and Eben Brewery. The best in ales and beers. Can you see, see that at the bottom? And you've got a, a skeleton there sitting with a mug of ale next to the fire. Proper imagination that is. And it can only be from Terry Pratchett. Uh, the wonderful writer who just passed away. Uh, it's from the Unseen University, the kind of Discworld beers that, uh, oh sorry, the Discworld series of books he's written. Black Bottle Cap. It's 3.7% ABV, black liquid, and with the way they've described the beer, ales and beers in German, I'm probably going to say it's, it's a kind of a, a black Kolsch, something like that. Let's have a look. The brewery is, of course, Brecon Brewery. Wow, look at this. For a 3.7% ABV beer, created a lovely creamy tan coloured head. It's more or less a jet black beer. As you can see from the camera, it's just picking up a little bit of a, a red tinge to the beer. Lovely colour. Rock the beer back and forth. Look at the way that beer is conditioned in the bottle. Lovely carbonation chasing the head up the glass. Um, let's get the aroma. Let's try and work out what style of beer this really is. Ooh. Wow, 3.7% ABV. It's got lovely and it, it can only be from this Discworld series of beers. It's like walking through a mysterious forest and coming across mysterious forest fruits. The fruits of the forest. It's a lovely little bit of cherry, little bit of black currant. Wild hedgerow hops, maybe. It's got my imagination going crazy now, this beer. It smells really good. A little bit of chocolate malt in there. Nicely kind of roasted. I'm going to dive in. It smells superb. Cheers. And it drinks really well. Three. When you bear in mind a 3.7% ABV beer, what you've got to consider is that the more malt you add to a beer, the more the ABV bumps up because you're extracting all that sugar from the malt. So a 3.7% ABV, you haven't got a lot to play with really. You haven't got a huge amount of ingredients uh, and malt going into the beer. So what you do put into that beer, what malt you choose, has got to be carefully selected uh, to pull out all of the flavours. So this is drinking like a dark mild, but it's it's got so much flavour for a dark mild. It's got so much kind of lovely fruity esters coming through. It's extremely refreshing, it's extremely drinkable. It's not a big, thick, heavy ale. It's nice and light and fruity, and you could you could really could kind of summer this beer up, you know, just sit out in the garden in the in the spring summer in the beer garden, enjoying yourselves. It's lovely. It's nicely carbonated. So you get a little bit of that roasted malt, a little bit of sweet. Toffee, a little bit of. I'm thinking about something else right now because of the flavour that's pulling through in my mouth. But I'll go back to where I was. Um, a, a roasted malt, so you've got a little bit of coffee, a little bit of, a little bit of chocolate in there, bitter chocolate. But on the back end, I'm concentrating so much on that lovely malty taste that 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 hedgerow hop I mentioned earlier gives a nice whipping kind of stinging bitterness. Like like a nettly stinginess in the beer. I like where they're going with these 
with the Discworld Ales of Beers. Um, I've got to mention at this stage because you guys would have seen the earlier reviews. Uh, the guys who were producing this this range of beers, uh, they, they swapped brewery. I think they went from Brentwood Brewing Company up to Brecon Brewing and this is the second beer now that I've had from the Brecon Brewing Company where it's been produced and it's fantastic. It, the quality's kind of leapt up. Um, not sticking it to Brentwood Brewing Company at all here. Um, it's just... Obviously, even even the owners, the, the company owners of this of this beer series have thought best to move the brewery and it was a good choice because the beers, well, as I mentioned here, are 3.7% dark mild that tastes superb in the glass. Um, that's what the beer series deserves, really. Um, because I, I got bought the, the original four beers for Christmas 2015 and it was a really, really big disappointment. I got them from Amazon and I had two beers which were massively over-carbonated, they were kind of flying out everywhere, and two beers which were incredibly under-carbonated, they were almost flat. And, and it, was, it was a Christmas present off my wife, um, and it was just one big shame. But kindly, kindly, the owners, um, Ales by Mail, who, who are kind of distributing the beer, and Paul is involved in this um, series of beers. He's made a great choice here by moving brewery. I have got a lot more of these beers to come. They were kind enough to um, send me the rest of the range, which is great by um, Ales by Mail. Thank you very much. Uh, but all, all I'm going to do now, I'm going to give this a rating. Um... So what I will say is, if you got the earlier beers like I did and you were disappointed, don't lose heart, don't don't lose faith. Try them again because they've improved dramatically. Right, rating. Black Hog's Watch, for me, is a fantastic dark mild. You've got lovely roasted flavours coming through, your chocolate, your coffee, your caramel, and that lovely kind of hedgerow hop that's, that's just a beautiful finish to the beer. It's fruity, it's nettly, it's it's just really nice. I'm going to give that, and I probably believe for a 3.7% or a beer under 4%, this will be the highest rating I've ever given for a beer. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. Very solid beer. Um, Sunday afternoon here in the UK. Enjoy, I'm going to enjoy this in the garden now, in the spring garden. And yeah, brilliant stuff. Go and try it. Thanks for watching, put your comments in the comments box, please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.